Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this super cute golden snitch hair clip to help spread the word about Be The Gold, which is a childhood cancer awareness movement. To make this project at home, you'll need small amounts of white and gold felt, some embroidery needles, sharp scissors for cutting fabric, not quite so sharp scissors for cutting paper, embroidery floss to match both colors of felt, a hair clip like this one, which is about two inches long, some optional items to add as little or as much sparkle as you'd like. I'm going to be using gold sequins and this super shiny metallic gold embroidery floss. And a printout of my template, which you can download in the video description. First, cut out the templates on your printout. Using the paper pieces, cut out the shapes and felt according to the notes I left on the document. Sharp scissors definitely make this easier. First, add any details you'd like to the gold felt circle. The design that I used is on the template if you'd like to copy it, but you can use your imagination if you'd like. I traced the lines using backstitch and this gold metallic embroidery floss. If you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this video, I will link to some more detailed tutorials in the description. Once you've finished tracing all of the lines, turn the piece over and tie a knot on the back, that way none of the floss comes undone. If you'd like to add any sequins, take one strand of the gold floss and then sew each sequin on using two small stitches. Don't forget to tie a knot on the back! Now our little gold ball is all decorated and it's time to move on to the wings. Place the small wing piece on top of just one of the larger wing pieces and put the other one aside for later. Next, we're going to sew the two pieces together along this connecting line using blanket stitch and some white embroidery floss. Blanket stitch starts in the back so your knot can stay hidden. The needle comes out close to the edge on the wing piece that's on top. Then put the needle back down through the fabric next to where it came out and still on the top piece along the line you'll be tracing around the edge. Leave a loop at the end because you're going to want to pull your needle around the edge and put it through the loop before you pull it tight. Keep going along this edge, but once you get to this part where you can't just wrap the floss around the side, push your needle up through the piece on the bottom before you thread it through the loop. This can get a little bit tricky around the tight turns and in the corners, but practice if you need to and you'll get through it, it'll be great. Next, embroider on these lines between the feathers using backstitch. When switching between lines, just drag the floss across the back of the piece and don't pull on it too tightly. Tie a knot on the back, cut off the extra embroidery floss, and this is what the wing should look like when you've finished working on the embroidery. Now switch to gold embroidery floss and place the gold ball we worked on before onto the wing piece. We're going to blanket stitch just along the line where it touches the wing for now. When you get to a part with a sequin, just pick a spot around it to put your needle. It doesn't have to be perfect. When you get to the other side of the wing, just stop. You don't need to tie this off just yet, so put the piece aside. Now grab the remaining large wing piece. Place the hair clip where you'd like it to be attached and mark this spot at the top with a pencil. Using your marks, carefully cut a small slit into the felt and then slide the clip into the slit and close it. Hold it up to the other piece to make sure it's on the correct side. Mine was not on the first try, whoops! Next, we're going to attach this piece to the rest of the hair clip. Line the pieces up, then using the same piece of floss as before, blanket stitch around the rest of the ball, making sure to sew through all of the layers of felt. When you get to the other side, grab your first gold stitch with your needle like this and pull it tight. To tie this part off, grab a stitch along the side and tie a knot there. Then poke your needle between the layers of felt and out the other side. Trim the excess. There is just one more part we have to sew together. When you start this next stitch, you're going to want to hide your knot in between some of the felt layers, just like this. Um, and if it doesn't quite make it all the way in there, just kind of push it back in with your finger. Starting where the top of the wing touches the ball, blanket stitch all the way around the wing with white embroidery floss, making sure to stitch all of the layers together. When you finish this step, all of the pieces will be securely attached and you'll be all done! Yay!
Remember to tie your knot at the edge and hide the remaining floss like we did earlier. Snip off the excess and you are all done! To open and close the hair clip so you can wear it, simply bend the whole piece just like this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you send me pictures of your finished projects on Twitter at Lauren Myrtle. If you're interested in finding out more about Be The Gold and childhood cancer awareness, visit BeTheGold.com and remember to like them on Facebook. And hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Thank <laughs> you.